Hey guys, it's Biendeo. Welcome back to Hexen. In the last bar, we just cleared the place. Yeah, I remember this place. Now, I've got some good news and some bad news. Firstly, firstly, this area is pretty cool. Like, this is a pretty cool area. I still don't know if it's a secret map or whatever, but who cares? It's cool. Also, that guy comes out. So maybe it's not as cool as I thought it was. Hey, there's a switch. This one just makes more guy up here. There's also a bit of a crevice. Yeah. Don't want to fall down the crevice. Hmm. Now you can see that that guy's missing his head. That statue is missing its head. There you go, got him. Now I know I'm nearing the end of my potions again. I wasn't nearing the end of my amp, my mana. There you go, there's another potion. So yeah, so that guy's missing his head, so there's problem number one. You can tell, because you're basically going to use whatever you can around you, you know? Use, use key. Oh, this room. First of all, there's a lot of purple potions in the middle if you want to grab them, but... Hey, check this out! That's how you kill them. Okay, maybe that place was a little bit more dangerous. I remember that. I remember there was a trap there. Oh crap! I don't have any ammo on it though. Pretty much at my last. Yeah, there you go. That was my last one. Pretty much. So no mana. There you go. That worked. There's one guy left, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Oh gosh. Do I have anything that will help me? Get mana. No, that gives me full health. I can use that in an attempt to kill them. Still don't know what all these weapons do, I think. Okay, maybe not that. I want to uh, <laughs> Just watching me just try out all my weapons. Definitely not this one. That just chucks them away a little bit. Dude, what? That, that ceiling should have fallen on you. Ouch. Maybe not. <laughs> Why would you really need all that stuff? Anyway, there's a very nice river in the background, but unfortunately we can't really do anything in here. So again, there's a room where you can't really do anything. And also, yeah, no mana. And you can't go in there. So that just leaves one room. This area. Now this area is pretty cool. Actually, like I really like this bit. Get down there. I'm gonna whack you with my mace. With my mace. Get over here. Okay. See how there's a bookshelf? You can go around. Oh, crap. I just realized this is not gonna be good because I don't have mana. Alright, that worked. Very nice secret here. I'm actually gonna... Save on... Top of the can you jump in there. Because... That is what happens when you activate that switch. And that's death. So I think it's... Also that, that bed will crush you. Which basically leaves that. You may be wondering how do you get in there. Well, pretty much, you can't really do anything in- oh crap. 
How about we just don't activate that switch? The switch does nothing. But you can open that, and that will lead you down to this area. Sure. Oh, that that's the one that brings you all your health. Yeah. All right. Well, you mama. I believe that switch just calls it on back. Okay. So we got a wizard up there. But you can't get to him. You can come down here, but you can't actually do anything down here. It's, it's, yeah, it's a little bit odd. Well, in that case, we'll have to call it quits for this room. But, you can get hurt by just pushing on that bookshelf, okay. If you know this map, you would especially like this bookshelf area, just because it has probably one of the stupidest puzzles in this entire place. When I first played this, I was deeply confused with what this book, sh this uh, library area. Did I call it the bookshelf area? Or should I really call it the library area? Say, it's a library, kind of. Okay, now you see how there's bookshelves all over the place? You see how this one has a face, has kind of faces on it. Hmm. So you go, hmm. Okay. Now, other than that, so you're thinking, hmm, there must be something in this room, right? Well, you look and look, and you'll, you'll be kind of going, okay, well, there's just a lot of bookshelves with some pretty cool shadow effects, but that's about it. The hint is to try every bookshelf, because I completely forgot what the puzzle was. Hmm. Okay, I completely forgot what the puzzle was. But it definitely involved this bookshelf area, and I believe you can do it. Well, that was something that you could do it with. Hmm. Alright, well, if we go back out... Again, oh, gosh. You notice that there's nothing more. It's just these two. And considering I haven't unlocked anything... Also, there's a swamp monster. Just cash. Where's that portal lead? We may never know, but... So I don't know if this is a secret map. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is something in this room. I'm gonna start by destroying these! Hmm, hmm. Hmm. Now on your map. Okay. I completely forgot exactly what was the puzzle to do in this. But there definitely was some something that would trigger the it was trigger. I mean the uh the things that would activate this. Did I, did I just do it? I thought I heard an earthquake. Like I thought I skipped one and actually activated something. Huh. Pushing on bookshelves. Oh, I was saving on the can you jump in there slot again. So what happens when you go back to the center? Yeah, I don't know, this game just completely escaped my mood. What happens when you go here? You end up back here, okay? And what happens when you exit the place entirely? Like, what happens if you go over here and you go into the next room? Oh, is that... Okay, well that's someplace else, though. Okay, so we're back in here. Okay, we're not typing. We're not typing, are we? No. 
Someone's got something. Hmm. So what's my suspicions? Well, firstly, this room you can explore quite a lot of it. Second of all, may maybe it's something that I haven't activated yet. Definitely find it kind of odd how I can actually go over here without mm -hmm. being able to activate his head. Or the statue. Then I have that. I've got that. Okay. Then I go over here. So I go over into this room. And I see that there's a Zeri over here. And I, 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 if I recall, you teleport into there. You don't actually go in. Oh crap. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whew, scared me there for a second. There's these things that would probably crush you. It's five of them. Do you have to grab them all? I don't trust it. Uh, you can also see a river, but I definitely know you don't go anywhere out there. And ouch. Fell for it again. And you've got this room, which requires the axe key. So obviously I'm guessing, okay, I don't need to go in there. You see this room with this guy in it. And he's got a thing on it. And for some odd reason, he triggered this room. What? Well, I'd figure it out eventually. Why am I meleeing these guys? Why are they not even shooting me? It's kind of weird. Okay. Anyway, I can grab that, I guess. Oh, someone hit the respawn button. What? Did someone just put a convenient... Oh, crap. Why is there a really odd bottomless pit in his room? It's not as much a where do I have to go kind of scenario instead of a just more or so a um, what the heck is going on? Kind of scenario. Why are there all these boxes? Why is there a bottomless pit right there? Alright, so I'm assuming that's not going to go anywhere. Not, not anywhere handy. What does that mean? Oh, I've triggered something down here. Because I definitely saw no switches. Hmm. Hmm. I need a dungeon key to get in there. See, I'm kind of having the weird feeling like I actually need to go into the other maps to get things, because this is not a secret map, isn't it? The hub instantly goes to one map. But there's this other map. Oh, okay, I'm kind of understanding the layout of this place. Kind of weird though, you can access it and do quite a fair bit in it without actually doing tons. Okay, through here. Oh, sorry, I had the weird feeling like that was a secret map. No, that's too easy for a secret map. too easy for a secret map, and plus I remember going into it. So of course it's not a secret map. It's music, man. Ouch. 69 elf. So many of those repulsion things. I, I never seem to find the opportunity to use them. But I get to find the opportunity to use that a lot. I'll use it again. Get some mana. This is kind of a weird place, actually, to be honest. 
Oh, I'm backing out. There you go, he's dead. <laughs> Let's progress. Up. There we are. Quick, duck. Um. Whoa. There's a lot of weird side areas to all these maps. Walk. The Liber Oscura. Which Latin is Book of Obscura. I don't know. It's weird why it's Obscura. I mean, that's a weird case. But alas, what was us? Anyway, if we go on to the next room, we'll be able to just come out back to the front. Although, there'll be a couple of lizard thingies. Which is good, because we get to explode them. And we get to pull a switch, which will reveal more enemies. Because we haven't had enough enemies in this game. We haven't taken out like a thousand of them already. No, only 999. It's basically you just get stuff. Okay. Well, if you go the other way, then you end up up here where you get a helmet. Very nice, very nice. But you need a rusty key. A rusty key in order to do that. And from this stage, I think we're done with here. Oh, no, we got another cabin. How come it's now where you get jumps that it's okay to mess up? It's so weird, I remember, it's like they keep giving you gameplay design. Also, I love it how all of these curled up guys, they don't activate until you activate something, which I think it's that switch over there. will activate every single one of those guys that fire the fireballs. All of them. Ouch. Fell on the noggin. No, I didn't, I fell on my feet because I'm always face down. I'm always the right side up. Anyway, you can't do anything there, but you can notice that you can see behind where we were before, and that's kind of something interesting to know. Also, you could get a rusted key. Huh. Well, progress on. So even though that we couldn't see any enemies, there were enemies. Also, enemies keep respawning everywhere, it's really annoying. <laughs> it's like, get out of here! You die! <laughs> yeah, there's too many of them. Also, why did I take so much damage just then? That was odd. Oh jeez, all these guys keep coming up. It's like, oh, hello, I killed you. But there's another guy. Oh, and then I killed you. There's another guy. Why do they do that? I guess it's a yeah, the challenge, I guess. Also, I, I don't have a main point. So, so. Oh my gosh, more guys just keep popping out. I really don't like these guys. The guys with the shields. I'm pretty sure you know that by now. They're the worst enemies. Just because it's like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot him. Deflex it. Oh, what did that do? What did that switch do? Absolutely zilch. I love zilch. It's my favorite number. Oh, I'm even out now. No, well, you may as well just do that. It's probably as effective, if not better. 
Okay, so I'm activating switches. Three switches, and... Nothing here, so I grab all the ammo, I guess. Use our general weapon again. And then I guess we have to make the switch and hope for the best. Uh, everything did not just keep spawning. Holy snap! Thank goodness I could do that. Alright. Hey, that's like the soul cube, you know? It's kinda cheap, but hey, you get given it. What's that? You got a diamond codex, which allows you to convert the book. I have no clue if you can convert the book. I don't even think you can really do anything with the book. That's kind of it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, granted, yeah, we've still got one thing left. That is to proceed up here because that guy just went up here. Still not doing anything in there. So I've got my suspicions about that area. <laughs> also, enemies keep respawning. Ah! Back here. Now there's gotta be something, because I activated all the thingos. Which basically means that there is. I don't know, because there's, there's a stage up here. There's a stage up the top. It's pretty much the only one that I know, other than that other stage. I can apparently activate the thingo from just down here. That's kind of weird. Okay. So I need a an axe key and a dungeon key. There's the dungeon key, the axe key was back before. But I have a rusted key. That's not gonna help me, isn't it? There's definitely a lot of wizards up there, I just don't know how to get up there. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll see you kids next time on Hexen. See you kids then.